Hello, I'm Peter Borriero. I'm the product line manager at Matrox Imaging. Um, welcome to our stand at Vision 2014. I'll be walking you through a few of our demos here, starting with the 2D VGR using our Matrox Design Assistant software running on our Matrox Iris GT smart camera. Our Design Assistant software is a flowchart based uh, integrated development environment. So you create the vision application along with the HMI in a, in a single environment. So the vision part of the application uh, basically locates a part using our geometric model finder uh, tool. It then communicates the location of the part to the robot controller along with the outline of the part. The robot controller then instructs the robot to pick up a laser pointer to trace the part. It then goes and uh, drops the laser pointer off, returns and picks up the part and drops it in a random location with a random orientation. Now another demo we have at Vision 2014 is uh, 3D profiling. It's actually highlighting two new features in an upcoming update to our MIL-10 library. So the uh, first feature that we're showing here is the ability to work with multiple camera laser pairs uh, to produce a 3D scan. And the benefit of using multiple camera laser pairs is to reduce occlusion and also to increase scan de density. Uh, occlusion is a situation where uh, either the camera cannot see uh, their laser line at a point on the uh, object or uh, the laser line cannot reach uh, a point where uh, the camera uh, sees on the object. The second feature that we're showing here in this demo is our new uh, 3D uh, registration or surface fit tool. Uh, this is to align a target scan with a model uh, scan uh, for comparative analysis. So what you see here at the bottom of the screen is the uh, point cloud of the scan. So we're scanning uh, uh, 5 million points at a, uh, an accuracy down to uh, 4 microns. On the uh, top left corner here, you see the uh, uh, depth map uh, representation of the uh, model. In the middle, you have the depth map representation of the uh, target scan. And at the far right over here, you see the difference map. So again, it's a depth map showing the difference between the model and the target scan. So the, the hotter the color, the brighter the color, the more pronounced the difference in 3D. And now I'll uh, let my uh, colleague speak to you about uh, another demo here in our Vision 2014 stand. Hi, my name is Michael Chi, Product Manager at Matrox Imaging. And I'll be walking you through a demo we have here at Vision 2014, showcasing our latest frame grabber, the Radiant EVCLHS. The Radiant EVCLHS is designed based on the EV series of cost-effective yet high-performance image acquisition board. Now the EVCLHS frame grabber now adds support for the Camelink HS standard based on the M protocol. Camelink HS is a relatively new standard, yet very high performance supporting um, cost effective technology. So it's based on a copper based cable solution, supporting up to 2.1 gigabytes per second, running at 15 meters on a single cable. Beyond image data, the protocol also allows transfer of camera controls as well as general purpose I.O. on the same cable. So these are some of the benefits of Camelink HS and these are best suited for industries such as flat panel display, web inspection, or semiconductor inspection systems. And this is what we're demoing here at our booth, doing image acquisition based on a line scan station. So our new Radiant EVCL HS frame grabber sits inside our Foresight GP industrial PC, and it's capturing from a single cable from the new Teldyne Dausa TDI line scan camera with a 16 kilopixel per line, running up to 100 kilohertz. So that's 100,000 lines per second. All this is done through a single cable, capturing from a rotating drum that simulates a line scan application. On our Radiant EVCLHS board, we also have a general purpose I.O. connector 
that allows connection to lighting, photo sensors, and in the case of this demo, a rotary encoder that triggers the camera for image capture. And all this is done via our Matrox Imaging Library, which allows users to easily transition from the older standard, such as CameraLink, into this new standard, which is the CameraLink HS. In conclusion, our new Radian EV CLHS frame grabber not only completes the Radian EV series of cost-effective, high-performance image acquisition board, but it also allows Matrox Imaging to state that we are one of the few, if not the only, machine vision software and hardware manufacturers to support all camera interfaces. For more information on our product, please visit us at matroximaging.com. Thank you.